Over here, be sure to grab the chest with Roy's pendant in it before heading down the steps. Down here, we run into another pivotal character in the game's storyline. As we've now run into one of the main adversaries throughout the game, Chester, we now are sent back to the storeroom which is located in the upper right corner of the main mineshaft area. So we have to backtrack just a little bit in order to get back there. Of course, on the way back, just be sure to take out pretty much all the bugs that you do see to gain that little bit of extra experience that we can get. In the main area, start off by swinging so you can take out the ogres right in front of the entrance, then start working your way up the stairs. Be careful, because we don't want to lose too much health as we have a boss battle coming up. If you do need health, however, Go back to the very beginning of the quarry and exit back out to the main area, and by doing so, your health will regenerate. In here, enter the storeroom for the first boss battle. Start off by immediately equipping the Ring of Power, which you should have enough ring ability to last throughout the battle. My best strategy is to crawl around on the floor back and forth through him in order to deliver a lot of hits to him very quickly. If he starts off by getting too far away from you, you may have to stand up and run really fast over to him, then duck back down to start doing some damage. With the Power Ring equipped though, you should be able to get a lot of damage off on him, and be able to defeat him before your health ends up running out. If your health gets too low though, be sure to use an herb if you picked one up from the shop. After defeating him, we get the Longsword, which is the second weapon of the game. Be sure to equip it and then exit the area, and head back to where we first met Chester. Once you're back in the room where we met up with Chester for the first time, head down the stairs now. You'll be in a big, long mineshaft type area that just falls straight down. Drop down for two separate screens before you reach the bottom. On the next screen, you're going to have some slugs falling down from the ceiling again. Attack these slugs while they're falling down, or when they hit the bottom, you'll have to duck down to do a sweep at them, and just hang around here for a little bit, as you'll be able to destroy a few of them to get a little bit of experience. Once you're done with that, head over to the right and head down the stairs, and it's time for another boss battle. I suggest equipping the power ring this time before entering into the door. Once inside, run all the way to the far right. Jump up and attack the enemy over and over again very quickly because it's going to kill you very fast. 
but with the power ring and being able to jump a few times at him, you should be able to drain his health rather quickly, gain your goal and your health back, as well as get the first statue of the game, the Sunset Statue. After you get the statue, de-equip the ring and head over to the right. Grady, from now on you'd better mind your own business. You don't understand the power you're dealing with. It will destroy everybody, not just us, but you too, Spink Man. Are you still here? I thought I told you to leave. How many times do I have to repeat myself? You are brave to oppose me, boy. This time, I'll let you go. But if you ever get in my way again, I will have no choice but to kill you. Good job, youngin. Who are you? I'm sorry that you're in danger because of me. Let's leave this pit, my boy. Ah! My leg. Could you help me walk? Harvey, what will we do if the mine has been destroyed? Oh, Mayor Grady. I don't know. Your name is Ado. Thank you for saving the mayor. Go now. The villagers must be told that he is safe. After the scene with the mayor, head off to the left and head back to the town of Serena. When you arrive back in Serena, you'll be told that Dogie's looking for you. So head back to the inn on the far left side of the town. Adel, you came just in time. There's something I'd like you to do. But first, Elena, could you tell us your story again? I'm afraid to tell this to someone I've just met. But if you trust him, this is about my brother, Chester. It has been half a year since he left Serena. It looks like he's working for King Maguire. I've heard bad rumors about Chester. They say he's been around Alcano Ruins. I found my brother's pendant near the entrance, so I know he's been there. This might not have anything to do with Elena's story, but a priest named Pierre went to Alcano Ruins yesterday and hasn't returned. Adel, I'd like you to go to the ruins and look for Pierre. I'm concerned about the safety of the village. If you see Chester, tell him that his sister Elena is very worried. Oh, I've forgotten to introduce myself. I'm Elena Studar. It's nice to meet you, Adolf. But I'm sorry to burden you with my problems. <laughs> After the scene with Dogie and Elena, head into this house. Walk over to the right in order to return Roy's pendant. After giving Roy's pendant back to his mother, you'll now get another ring. This is the shield ring, which will increase your defense while you have it. With the shield and power ring, when you're getting into certain boss battles, it's going to be up to you what you'd rather have. Would you rather have more strength against the boss or more defense? For the most part though, you're going to be seeing throughout the run that I'm going to be using more power and strength in my run of the game than using the actual shield ring. After we do that though, head back outside of town and now we have a new area to go to. So head to Alcano. An interesting type ruin place, as you'll see in the far background, a volcano. The volcano will come more into play later on in this area. Inside this place though, a lot of the enemies are going to be fire based, as we have wizards as well as fireballs that are going to be coming towards us. Thankfully though, these fireballs move rather slowly and you'll be able to attack them before they're able to hit you. For the wizards, jump over their fireball that they shoot out and deliver two quick hits in order to take care of them.
since these enemies are pretty easy to continue with, if you want a little bit of EXP, just backtrack a little bit to get them to respawn and take them out again. Outside here, we're going to have birds that start attacking you in mass from the sky. For the most part, though, they move rather slowly, a lot slower than they move in other versions of the games, and this gives you a good opportunity to just stand there with your sword and take them out. To do this, hold up while attacking so that you're attacking straight up into the air it gives you a better chance of taking out those birds. The other enemies here with the whip are really easy, just run towards them and hit them one quick time with your sword to get rid of them. When you make it to this screen, get down to the ground and start crawling to take out the crawling enemies. Right after them though, you're finally back inside. Some more of the flames, as well as more of the wizards. However, there are now flame enemies that crawl across the bottom and quickly move. Duck down in order to attack them to take those out. Just be sure not to jump, because when you do jump, they will pop out of the ground and try to attack you that way as well. So it's easier just to stay on the ground and try to attack them that way. Thankfully though, as long as you don't jump, they actually aren't able to hurt you. Brother Pierre, you must tell me what you want here. I seem to have lost my way. No need to lie, good brother. You're looking for the statue, aren't you? What the? I think I heard someone up there. You! You were the swordsman I saw in the Tigray mine. Didn't I warn you not to show your face around here? You! Come with us! with Elena. Well, it's my life. What I do has nothing to do with you or Elena. Now, goodbye forever. After the very friendly Chester gives us a nice friendly kick straight into the volcano, we're now in the new area of Volcano. Start off though by heading off to the left in this area. Be sure to take your time because you have these flame fireballs that pop out of the background and try to attack you that way. If you move slow enough, you should be able to stay within the middle of them without actually running into any of the fireballs. Over on the left side here, climb up and grab the medical herb. Thankfully, this medical herb does not go away and you can keep grabbing them every time you use one. Unfortunately though, you're only able to have one at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and use one now to replenish my health, and then pick up another one. We do have a boss battle coming up, so be very careful not to lose too much health while on this screen. There's a lot of Firebird enemies that when they get close to you will teleport and land on the same level that you are. So just take your time slowly and keep attacking in order to keep them at bay for the most part. The next screen, though, is where the real fun begins. This level can be extremely tricky, as you're going to be trying to outrun these jumping fireballs. 
you have to move very quickly in order to avoid actually getting hit by